Look at all the people, man. That's why I don't take the trams. I usually go for a walk, but today I'm gonna be taking the trams. I'm gonna be going into uh, Grand California, get some grub, see what the uh, the monthly hot dog is. We always got some kind of special hot dog. For some reason this uh, must be loading the handicap or something up front. I'm not sure, but this one's not even moving. It's fully loaded. Shot at Earl's sandwiches because who knows when this is actually gonna go bye bye. It's gotta be soon. All right, check this out. Scrim walls are down over here at Centrico. You peek into the Paseo. That staircase it goes in there and curves curves up. Yeah, it's a trip, man, to see without the scrim walls over here. Check this out. Haven't been over here in ages. Looks pretty red. Tiendita. Walk right up to it. And look how you have to order. You have to go up these kiosks. It says order now. Almost gonna be open. How's it gonna be? Doesn't look like you can go in there. Is it walk up? What is this? Kind of looks like you just walk up and you order here first. Then you just go in here and pick it up. Is what it looks like. It doesn't go very far that way, and it just curves in right there. Rad's the new sign lit up, all LED. Right there, the wait is almost over at Centrico. Pretty red. It's kind of cool to see it over here without the scrim walls. We got up here, everything's cleaned up. Everything's ready to go. We got big shots right. I don't know if you can see them, but they're right there. Must be a bar in this window right here. It's all kinds of alcohol in the window. Alright, I can't wait for this thing to open. I'm sure it's gonna be theme park price like everything else. But we're gonna have to try it out. Res Fountain's not actually doing its thing, but it does have some waterfalls going on. You got a duck hanging out. Chilling. Tortilla Joe's is gone. Gonna be a steakhouse. They might be leveling this place at some point. I think it's gonna be a steakhouse and a barbecue place. Still got the neon up over here. Let's check that out. Gonzo, man. Even this is gone. This is all part of them. I mean, we're all thinking this is going to get leveled. I mean, you could actually put a couple businesses in here, have one on the lower level and have one on the upper level, but I'm pretty sure this place is probably going to get leveled. Yep, all gone. Some of the old signs from this little uh, taqueria. All right, let's head over on the other side of this monorail beam and go see what's going on over here. All right, scrim walls are down from over this area too, but this is a new sign right here once I get this area open. There's gonna be a pathway right here to my left. 
That says Disneyland Hotel, Mickey and Friends parking structure, Pixar and Pals parking. And you got this new Pixar Fest sign going on right here in the beaming sun. Right looks like they're getting this thing taken care of over here. They got a staircase right up and through here. It's gonna be the second level right there. Parkside Market is getting worked on pretty quick. Here's what it looks like. Parkside Market, man. Sip and Sonder. You got the bar up right here in the top left. It's gonna be right where the crane's at some point. Soul Sisters is gonna be in there. Chicken Shop, Gigi's Chicken Shop. Parkside Bar. It's gonna be up there on the top. Sip and Sonder. I can't see all these things are gonna be inside there because what's gonna be down over in this section over here? There it is again, coming soon, Parkside Market. Looks like they still need to put some stucco or something on these pillars right here with the perma barriers on them. Too many people out here, Disneyland closes at 10. Do not have access to getting to Disneyland today. Din Tai Fung, we got scrimmed off, so can't really see in too good. But we'll get on a hump and we'll look over here to the left and take a look at the new security area. Right, there's not really working on this too much. That's the new security entrance eventually. And I don't see where uh, Rolla Sandwiches can go unless it's all gonna be right back in this area right here. We'll take a look at the trailer, see what that looks like. Right, looks like the whole Star Wars trading post front end is complete. And they got Scrim over here where they're putting in the concrete. Let's go check out the Earl of Sandwiches trailer around this corner. Right, there's a new Pixar Fest photo op over here in downtown Disney. Let's get a little closer look at the trailer over here. I can see they are working on it. So you got this light right up here. It was different than the last time I was here. Almost like it's either a light or a plug. Yep, still not open yet. But they did put some electrical up there too. They still haven't fixed this. It's just a big pit inside there. They haven't put the concrete behind that scrim yet. Right, Din Tai Fung, man. That's right where Earl of Sandwiches used to be. And this is where the old Starbucks used to be. I was here when they tore that thing down. That was pretty rad. All right, let's get over to the Grand Californian. There's a bunch of these through the whole resort going all the way towards the Esplanade. It's another gonna be over here to the left we'll go check out. And it sounds like they got a band going on over here, over here in the alley. Let's go check that out real quick. Man, they got competition with uh, the other band that's going on down to my left. There's a new dress shop. This is a trip to come over here and actually see no scrim walls over here. It's pretty rad. I was get a shot of this because nobody's ever been in here yet. You have alcohol up there in those glass area up there. Very soon, man, this place will open very, very soon. Hey, look, Disney Blueprints. You even got a Mickey on it. Then you got Marceline's over here. They're going to be expanding over to the old dress shop, which they got a sign covered up, which is kind of odd. It's kind of a Mickey Mouse way to cover that sign up. All right, let's go into the Grand Californian. All right, this is new from uh, last time I was here the Galactic Creation. It's probably all edible. Let's see. Showpiece of cosmic proportions took 480 hours to complete and was created by our pastry team. Yeah, it's all edible. Every bit of this. All right, let's go see what the hot dog of the month is. Plus, I'm gonna get some chicken wings. 
I don't usually film this stuff, but brand new freestyle machines back here. I'll have to check these out. Get me one of these beverages right here. Try out the new machine. I usually get one of those parfaits, but I'm just getting me some chicken wings. And like I said, I'm gonna get one of the hot dog of the month. They got ice creams back here and coffees and everything. Right, here is the hot dog of the month. So it's butter braised corn tossed in chipotle aioli. And it's got cheese, salsa, more cheese. It's got cilantro, top of sour cream, green onions, and tahini, which I said no tahini. Served with fresh lime wedges and Fritos corn chips. All right, that's a mouthful. I think it's uh, 14 bucks. All right, you can get these not actually in this restaurant here. You get inside the lobby of the Grand California. So you get Job of the Hut or the Millennium Falcon. And this actually comes with, none, neither one of these come with popcorn. He said this one comes with uh, like cookies. And I forget what he said this one came with. But yeah, you don't get popcorn with these ones. So it's actually better. All right, so here's these uh, delicious wings. Can't go wrong with the wings over here. And I had everything put on the side right here. So let me sample a little bit of everything before I actually slap it all on this dog. But all you see here, minus this, goes onto the dog. All right, let's try this out. Is that a, like macaroni or something salad or? So it's corn. It's got onions in it. It's got little bit of spice seasonings in it. Uh, got Thank cheese you. I in it. No problem. Wait, that's great. It's actually delicious spice out. Cilantro. Mmm. Right. Well, I gotta have a bite. And this is actually a sausage and not a hot dog. If you need any more sauce when you get that. Right, let's see what this is. It tastes like whipped sour cream or something. Hmm. A bunch of Mexican cheese. And it comes with Fritos. Right, let's put a little bit on this end just to test drive it out. See, I have to have mustard. It's a fresh bun, too. I only got mustard that way. Wow, it's good. Man, that's way good, actually. Back on there. Sprinkle some of that cheese on there. Man, it's way good. 14 bucks. I come back for this. Get the AP discount on this thing. This thing's pretty fresh. Mm, pretty good. All right, next up is the sticky wings. I got a, I got a drum. Whoa. It's slippery with that sauce. Yeah, I picked out a drum instead of a wing. I didn't know. Oh. You also can't go wrong with these wings over here. Get the most amount of wings in any of the uh, other areas of the resort. Never actually had a hot dog of the month here ever. Man, this is good stuff. I mean, actually have actual hot dogs other times, but this is actually called hot dog of the month, but 
Yeah, she said that sausage in there. Right, I actually popped some Fritos on here. Let's try it crunchy. Put some Fritos on it. I'd definitely come back for this. All right, the wings are gone. Hot dogs gone. Fritos, not everything was uh, super crunchy. A lot of them were, but they weren't the best. That was yummy, whatever that was. But that that is usually all on the hot dog. I just had everything on the side. The Mexican cheese, the onions. I didn't have any tahini, so I don't really like that. Then here's all the wings. And if you got this far in the video and you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It is totally free. Right, trying to work my way back to the car. My recording, it looks like it's recording. Man, there's a traffic jam inside this parking structure. And it even goes back that way too. Just gotta get to my car and I'm gonna have to get into that traffic to exit. I'm over here in Pixar and Pals. I wish the exit here was open because there was a major traffic jam trying to get out of here. Let's see where my car is first. All right, it's down here. Yeah, it's a major traffic jam trying to get out of here. Yeah, you have to exit through Mickey and Friends and the line is a big old backup, so it's gonna take a while to get out of here. All right, here's that backup, but I'm in Pixar and Pals. And this thing is socked in here. So I'm gonna sneak my way in. And I'm just entering the Mickey and Friends. Imagine what it's like just to get out onto the street. Finally made it. Let's see what this is gonna look like down here. Hopefully, uh, if we get to the left side to go up over the bridge over Ball Road, it would be rad. Let's see. And uh, it doesn't look like this is the particular ramp. Oh, yes, it is. It just cut through. That's awesome. Thank you, man. Going over the bridge. Hit that thumbs up, guys. Hit that thumbs up.